the next how to is how to write write please select as the first item in the drop down list or list box while populating from the server side uh, you must have seen many web pages where there are drop down or list box control and uh, in that the first item is generally please select this basically helps the user to you know select any item uh, from the drop down instead of you know uh, going ahead uh, with the registration or, uh, or or any form submission with the default uh, selected item from the drop down or the list box control so in order to write the or add the please select item uh, you can do, we can do two things first is that if the drop down list or list box is pre populated we can pre populated in the sense uh, it is populated through from the aspx page itself by writing the list item they can then we can use please select at the first item for example let us see here okay our code is already here now here you can see that this is my drop down and in this drop down we already have written the first item as the please select and value is 0 and rest of them as item 1 2 3 4 and with the value is 1 2 3 4 so in this case because this list item is is written at the first place under the drop down list so it will appear by default so the first item of this drop down list will be please select now in case uh, our drop down list or the list box is being populated from the code behind then in that case what we can do is that we can basically use the insert method and uh, insert the please select or the select uh, item at the first position so naturally it is a zero box in zero based index so the first parameter of this insert uh, method uh, should be zero and then the list item that is select and its value is zero you can specify value as minus one also in case your zero value is uh, is being used anywhere into your database now let us run this page and see that how it is looking like so here is my page and you can see that this job this uh, list box control is being populated from the code behind uh, here is my list box control there is no item here because it is being populated from the code behind using populate data now method so and I am using insert method that is basically adding a new list item into this list box control at the zeroth position that is in the first position and it is writing select in the same way you can see that I have using I am uh, I am writing the first item as the please select into the drop down and that is appearing as a first item into this drop down list control in on the ASPX page now this how to is very interesting and little complicated also now this how to is how to populate a drop down list based on another drop down list of selected value so for that let us uh, build a sample form so here is my sample form let us examine the code of the ASPX page first in this page we have one drop down as the person so in this case we have a drop down list where the its id is drop person and runner equal to server and because we have to populate another drop down based on the first drop down so we are firing on selected index change event and uh, on this event we are basically executing select files for this person server side method that we are we will write it in in, in few moment and the very important thing is that we have written auto post back equal to true for the first drop down and rest data value field and data text field as we have explained earlier uh, data text field is basically the item text of the drop down and data value field is the item value for the drop down and uh, the another drop down is basically uh, drop files drop down and uh, whose data value is auto id and data text is file name now let us see the code behind uh, of this particular page so let me build it let me copy paste and uh, here is my code behind this code behind is little big because we are going to populate the data from the database so naturally we will have to write a lot of code here 
I I'm going to explain each and every line of code so do not worry about it yes yes now because we are going to use here database so we'll have to use another namespace called system.data.sql client okay that will basically help us to populate the data from the database or to access the data from the database and because uh, we have to use the con uh, connection string as well uh, so I am going to store this connection string my, to my web.config file and here is my uh, config file connection string you can see that I have written a connection string and add name constr and my, I have specified the connection string of my database now in order to uh, retrieve this connection string value from the web.config file we will have to use another namespace system.configuration and that will have basically configuration manager uh, class and using that class we will be able to retrieve the connection string uh, value so here is uh, my connection string value un into an uh, underscore con, con str uh, page level uh, variable and uh, in the bind personal detail uh, method that will fire when the page will load for the first time we are first instantiating the data table and then we are instantiating the SQL connection object by passing the connection string and we are using using block so that as soon as my work is done this SQL connection object will get disposed and then using the SQL select statement we are basically loading all the uh, auto ID and first name of this personal detail database table and we are filling using SQL adapter into the data table and that data table is being uh, set as a data source for this first drop down that is drop a person so drop person will have uh, the the person the person details and uh, we are naturally using uh, insert method of the drop down to add a first item of this drop down as please select and then uh, what we are doing is that uh, we are writing uh, the select files for this person uh, method here and in this what we are doing is that first we are instantiating the data table and then we are getting the value of the first drop down that is drop a person see it here this is my drop person so we are getting the selected value of the first drop down and storing into the auto id variable and we are using that auto id to basically retrieve the files information from the file uh, database table you can see here is I am using the person ID and that person ID is nothing but the auto ID value of the first drop down I am passing the parameter into this select statement and populating the drop down sorry populating the data table and that data table is basically being specified as a data source of my second drop down now what will happen is that as soon as uh, I will uh, uh, basically uh, se select uh, any item from the first uh, drop down then this uh, selected files for this person will fire I'm sorry it is yeah so this method will will fire and this method will basically populate the files information for that particular person and into the second drop down drop files drop down and then on the click of the button we have a specified submit data method and in this submit data method we are basically accessing the selected value and uh, for for the first drop down miss the person and uh, uh, selected file for the from the second drop down okay so uh, let me run this page and when I will run this page you can see that in the first drop down I have all the personal details uh, sorry the list of person and as soon as I will select any person from the first drop down the on selected uh, index change event will fire and that will basically fire this selected file for this person and it will go to the database and get all the files for this person and populate into the second drop down so let me select Michael 
and you can see that as soon as I selected Michael the the page has been posted back on the server and accordingly based on that uh, uh, person ID I am getting the files uh, populated into the setting and drop down and now when I will click the submit button the submit data event will fire sorry submit data method will fire and that will basically give me the selected value of the first drop down as well as the second drop down you can see that selected person ID is 5 and selected file is 4 let us go ahead and see into the view source see here selected the first drop down selected value is 5 and the second drop down selected value is 4 that's what is being written here 